Good morning, everybody. It's me, Patty Ann. Hang on just a sec. I gotta tell you, it is so cold here that even my mug is still wearing his holiday sweater. Okay, this sweater is so cute. It even has a button so you can take the sweater off to wash the mug. I don't know if you can see the little button. It's really cute. <laughs> Thanks, LeVan. <laughs> Anyway, I had a friend, a follower on Facebook and on YouTube, who had asked me if I could do a video for her showing her how to use the print and cut feature on Cricut. So that's what I'm going to do today. So follow me down here onto my computer. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is open to a new canvas and I'm going to go to, actually I'll leave this open and I'll open up a new area here, Google, and I let me show you how I begin. I typed in Minnie Mouse, and then I just got a bunch, I went to Images, and then I got a bunch of images that looked like this. Now recall that I do want to go to Tools, and under Type, I want to click Clip Art which I've already done this. And then over here, it's there was a size button and I chose larger than 640 by 480. And so these are the images that I got. Now it doesn't matter how much shading there is or anything like that. So let's just pick this one right here. She's awfully cute. Okay, so then I click on it and all I do now is right click on the image and then I say, save picture as. And since I'm using her for something for Valentine's Day, I'm just going to call her Minnie Mouse and put her in my Valentine um, file folder that I've made. So say save. And now I'll go back to Cricut Design Space, go to upload upload an image, then I'll browse to where I save that image. It was in my Valentine folder. There she is, open. And I'm just going to click on complex and go continue. There's really nothing here that I need to erase. So I'm going to say continue. And now I have two options here. I can save it as a print and then cut or as a cut image. Notice here is a cut image. It's just a silhouette. That's not what I want. I want the print and then cut. Here's what it's named as Minnie Mouse. I'm going to put some tags in here. And Valentine maybe. And say save. And here it is saved. Now I'm going to click on it to select it and say insert image. Okay, then here she is. And notice over here on the right, since I saved her as a print and cut, it already has a printer icon. Okay, if it had been just a cut, it would have just had this cut image there. But it's a print and cut, so it already is like that. Now I can make her larger, but this is based on whichever browser you're using. I'm using Edge, so mine can be 9.25 by 6.75. And you don't really re need to remember this. If you do it incorrectly, like watch, I'll make it too big, I think. Let's see. And if I go to make it, it says the image is too large and it tells me to what I must reduce it to and yours will also. So I'm just going to make her smaller. Maybe there. Okay, now she's a good size and she'll fit. This is the bounding box. Now I did not put that box on there, but Cricut automatically did and that will print nice and black. You must print this on white cardstock so that it shows up well, but this box will sh will print very darkly. 
And when you go to put this image back into your Cricut, there's a little light that will turn on and it will go like this around here and it'll find out where the bounding box is and then it'll begin to cut. So let me continue. And it says print, send to printer. So now I have to select a printer over here. Hopefully you have a wireless printer that's connected or I suppose you can uh, hook it up with a wire. You do want to have bleed on. And if you'll notice what it says here, bleed extends the ink slightly beyond the border of the image to eliminate a white margin once the image is cut. So you want to leave bleed on. Bleed's off, I want it on, bleed is on. Okay, I have this printer right here already set up for mine. So I'm going to click print. And let me show you what comes out of the printer. Okay, now I'm going to put mini onto my mat. I'm using the standard tack mat. Usually I would use this for vinyl, but I accidentally, or vinyl or cardstock, I accidentally made her on paper. So hang on just a second. I'm going to get my other mat. use my light tack mat instead. Okay, so I'm going to put her on here. Up in the very left hand corner. Really adhere her. And then I'm going to bring this over to my machine. Okay, on my machine, it said to, or on my computer, I should say, it told me to connect to my machine. So I've done that, and now you can see that my light is blinking. So all I have to do is make sure I have this in properly. I'm going to hit the go button. And then, or the load button, and now the go. know if you can see but there's a little light that came on down here see how it's lit up that is checking to see where those black lines are it's really pretty cool I did change the setting on my dial to paper since that is what I'm cutting so now it has registered where the picture is and now it's going to start cutting. And it's finished. So I'll unload my mat and Take this paper off and it will leave behind mini perfectly cut out. Just kind of bend my mat to get her started coming off. Very careful since she is just paper. Okay. And turn on this side so you can see her. Isn't she adorable? So that's all you have to do to print and cut. Now I'll show you one more thing that you might want to know about on your computer. So join me back over there. Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you here was suppose you already have an image and it's a cut file. How can you change it into a print and cut file? It's really easy. So if I go to images, and let's imagine I don't have one yet that I want to use. So I'll go to categories maybe. And maybe I want to see what's free this week. Go to free this week. And maybe I like this. Thanks. Now if I insert this. 
you notice up here that they are both cut files. Okay, what I can now look down here, nothing's available. If I select both of these, I can either draw a box around them or click here, shift and here. Select both things, flatten is available for me. Now when I click on this button flatten down here, watch what happens up here to these little scissors. So I'm going to click flatten. Okay, it flattens it to one image and the um, scissors are gone. So if I go to make it, it says that over here on the left, it's going to be a print and cut. So I will go continue, send it to the printer. It's already selected, a bleed is on print. It's preparing to print. And it's done. It says it's been printed. So now to continue, I please connect to my machine. So I connect to my machine. And then I take my image that I just printed and once again, put it on the mat, send it through. And this is what I end up with. Again, thank you so much for joining me. If you're enjoying the videos, please give it a thumbs up and share it across the social media. Thanks. Bye.